Okay, so as promised, and this is uh, a rare thing that, well, not that I don't keep my word, but I actually got around the luxury of getting around to doing what I want to do. Um, it's unique. happens sometimes. But, uh, yeah, the point is uh, we're focusing on the new comic here. Uh, it's Chapter 2 of The Bostabak. The Bostabak. Bostabak. The Bostabak is a comic based on uh, the game Dwarf Fortress, and these are some of the new characters. There's actually, there might be more. I had originally planned uh, about five or six new characters uh, to be introduced. There's already previously, I don't know, how, I forget how many, like, oh, well, it should be seven, right? You know, seven dwarves, but yeah, not from the, uh, the seven dwarves, uh, what was it, Snow White, but from the game Dwarf Fortress also. Uh, I don't know if that's for humor purpose or for what reason, but well, the game also starts with uh, Seven Dwarfs. I wonder if Snow White ever shows up in the game. I wonder if there's might be a spoiler behind that. So I'm just checking right now. There's some weirdness on, uh, if you can see this area here, if I zoom in, there's some blotches right there. I think that's on a color layer, yeah, which is okay. I'm just, uh, yeah, if you zoom in, you can see it's missing some color around there too. The reason for that uh, is noticeable when you put the sketch layer on. You can see that right there. But I actually like that in in small doses. I'm okay with it because um, well it just adds more like texture and randomness to to that character. So some people might be waiting for this. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not extremely optimistic. I, I'm just going to work on this a bit and touch up some of the color and stuff while uh, chit-chatting about what's going on with this uh, this new upcoming comic here. So um, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody is anticipating this. Uh, like a lot of other web comics, maybe people assume that I just stopped. Uh, I did get, um, I did seem to get a lot of attention from this, which is one of the reasons that I continued. I asked people like what do you think of this in the uh, you know like on reddit and stuff and uh, to to gauge whether or not I should bother continuing but I have to continue with something right I can't just do nothing cuz uh, you know if you ever see somebody who does absolutely nothing they just they're like dead right can't do that so you have to do something so I decided to do something that would be perhaps useful or uh, practical or something that people would like so I have to do something got to keep creative and the point was that uh, a lot of people seem to like it they're okay with it now that happened at first when I first just released a first uh, I don't remember it was like the first 10 or 16 pages somewhere between there and I uh, got a lot of you know upvotes and good feedback people said that's great same with the the art that I, did. I made a lot of illustrations for Dwarf Fortress because uh, it's a game that allows for that um, and Tarn Adams the developer of the game who uh, you know with his brothers uh, cre creative assistants uh, you know they together make the game and so I mean Tarn himself said in one interview I was watching <clears throat> that a lot of people playing the game the, I mean the reason that he continues to develop the game is because it does well he's as being, you know, a good game developer. If it was a different game that took off, you might focus on that, but that's not what happened. So I like that. I like that honesty. And well, I'm one of those people that he mentioned. He said people like it. Seem to be like programmers and artists. You know, artists like the game because it leaves a lot to the imagination. And a lot of like really cool, just randomly or what you might call procedurally generated. Uh, characters and monsters and stuff they it takes care of all that work of where you might have to instead of having to think of something interesting like uh, I don't know a, a were sheep which uh, you know is something I, I'll have to draw some point in time here or like a were sheep for those of you who don't know it'd be like you know werewolf right yeah werewolf what if a sheep was like a werewolf so the sheep would turn into a monster Every once in a while, we have some background noise here. Apologize for that. I'm gonna try and clean up the sound as best I can, but uh, I just have some street noise here. I'm being a little bit lazy. It's a lot easier for me to 
just sit where I am, this is where I do my work, and it's near a balcony. So sometimes uh, there's a lot of street noise that comes out there. Be random, random happenings on the road, crazy cars and all that stuff. So, yeah. And so I just kept going with it. And if nothing else, then this book, I've learned a lot. Or I've just improved. I built up my drawing ability, my stamina. It's first full color series that I've made. Um, even before when I did like black and white, some really short black and white comics, they were not, um, they weren't really complete. They were never, it was never beyond like five pages or something. I would always just get tired. But with this, I had the whole script written out. So it wasn't like make it up as you go along, then get tired and forget about it and blah, blah, blah. No, I actually wrote the whole script down. I had a plan and that's, you know, another reason for me to be very thankful of the game itself and I have donated you know. the, the game Dwarf Fortress it's uh, based on donations so I did do that donated um, and and that's about that so I feel comfy with that page yeah that's okay so previously I had the sketch layer which, let me zoom in so I like that when you have a sketch layer on but I just can't because watch me I have the sketch layer there's a lot of more like rough detail in there but I also you know, there's a lot of it that's too rough and just doesn't make sense so I don't want to have all that weird randomness out I could go in with more detail in the pen but well there's time and everything it is a comic I have to keep that in mind comic book it's not a masterpiece of art even if I were to spend I don't know like days and days on these characters people would just look at it and so eh, that's nice. And move on. Next page. <laughs> no matter how much work you put into it. Um, so that's why the point of a comic, because there's many pages to it, you want to get to the next page. And it's more about the story, right? So it's not to say that it's bad to um, really need to highlight in his eyes here. It's not to say it's like bad to spend a lot of time on each page. Some comics have like you know, an amazing amount of work put in. I need pure white there. Into uh, many of the pages. <clears throat> but you can really tell like certain pages and Marvel or DC style comics. Hmm. No, I don't want highlight there actually. Just color. Yeah, because with him the light's supposed to be kind of like sort of coming from behind. Yeah. So the front of his face will actually be in a dark area. I'm okay with that. Also, by the time it's done, it'll be shrunk down to like this level. And I'll color these. But with, um, you know, the point is not to make like art, even if it's a children's book, which I'll be working on soon. It's actually just uh, feeling sick today. So after this, I have to work on a children's book. <clears throat> see a color that maybe that matches that just trying to get back in action that's why I'm making these vi videos <clears throat> this video I mean in particular after this one it'll be I don't know how long a few days because I have to work on the uh, on the children's book and after that I can get back to this again so I'll go back and forth whenever I'm working on this then I'll come and make a video chit chat a little I want to be more regular so I have uh, keep falling off the schedule it should be it's not procrastination at all it's actually just genuine general genuine hyper level of busyness super busy also as you can see with this video it's kind of like yeah not really excited about anything nothing new it's definitely good to still make a video though. You can have boring videos, collage of boredom and excitement mixed together. But yeah, with a comic, it's all about that uh, the story. So that's what I keep trying to finish saying. <laughs> you want to make a story. So, in order to make a good story, what's going to happen? You can't spend too much time making like the Mona Lisa here on every other page I guess make a long story short that's where I'm going with that 
No Mona Lisa. If and when I do have that time, that would be, you know, a much more a paid for product or much more serious endeavor. So right now I don't know how far I can take this type of work. It's mostly for fun and for the fans of the game. My uh, brush isn't working very well. You might hear me clicking a lot, moving around. Brush isn't coming out exactly how I want it to, but I can rework a lot of that stuff. Let's go into the eyes here. He has no retina, no pupil. Hmm. I had it in my sketch. I think it said what color his eyes are. No. I might have erased that. They're probably rust color because these are dwarves. It actually says their eyes, in many cases, are the color of rust. So that should be like a little reddish metallic tinge like that. And put the opacity back up. That's, yeah, actually, looks kind of good. It's not too bad. But when you do that, you also have to have highlights in the eyes, because the eyes are very reflective, like we were talking previously about you know, parts of people they're more reflective. The eyes are very, usually at least, not to say glassy, but they, well, they definitely have water. They have like, uh, you know, that small thin coat of water in your eyes, but I guess it's not called water. I don't know the scientific term for that. Turn off that light and shade, and you'll see in here, I have a lot of botched up color. Didn't really get into the lines all that well. And that, again, I think is a result of that. I don't turn off the sketch line sometimes until far after I've already finished coloring. That's definitely a lesson learned. Turn off the sketch lines. Do some of this stuff. But the funny thing is, when it's all said and done, and you have all of the... Uh, what do they call that? <clears throat> what color is this? When you have all of that, um, the, the shade and, and light and all that stuff, all the coloring done, a lot of it blends together, which is good. That's what I want. I want an effect where, see so here I have the light and shade. It's a lot of mixture, various colors. You should never have, like, uh, just one color for everything. A lot of light bouncing off and uh, various hues and shades can come off of one type of material. You look at everything as material, like when they're making the 3D animations and, and games and stuff, uh, they actually refer to everything that you see on the surface of an object and, and people, even the skin would be considered a type of material. So they have to make uh, they have a specific artist who might work on a, making the materials for all these characters. This is basically to say... <coughs> Um, basically you're coloring 3D objects. Ah, God. Bike. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is definitely time for me to <laughs> wrap this video up. I don't want any, any more bike sounds on the video. I don't mind the bikes. People like bikes. Okay, you ride a bike. I just don't want it in my video. I don't know why. So many bikes around here. Alright then. I think that's all I wanted to do, too, is give these guys some highlights. He needs a little bit more detail, definitely. That'll do the trick. And any more background on this page will be done. So that was these characters. This one is Latast. She's a gem cutter. O'Neill is a broker. They are not very exciting. Both of these characters are quite exciting. This manager, Cogsack, is a real pain. He's constantly running around screaming. And Rakust is... Uh, well, when you read the comic, you'll know. He's interesting. He's gone a little mad. What's going to happen? All right. That's it for this one. See you in the next uh, video. If you had fun, then share and subscribe. If not, then have a nice day. Take it easy. See you later.